Hi guys, this is Greg with Provision Knives, where art meets engineering. And today I'm going to talk about another question that I get asked a lot, which is, what is the best cutting board to use? My, my own personal opinion, for the home chef, the best cutting board you can buy is going to be a wooden cutting board. Why is that? Number one, wood has been proven to be very gentle on your knife edges, which means your knives stay sharper or longer, which is what the home cook really wants, right? Less maintenance uh, to keep your knives sharp. Number two, and this is a biggie, wood has been shown time and again to provide the best protection against the spread of bacteria in the home kitchen. Very important point in the home kitchen, all right? Uh, there's a lot of studies that have been done. You can go out onto the internet, Google them, look for wood cutting boards and bacteria. Uh, definitely far and above wood is the best solution. Okay, just make sure you're getting a cutting board that is big enough for your needs, right? And thin enough that it's easy for you to move over to the sink for cleaning, washing down and drying in the rack, all right? So that's a big thing. Don't get one too big for you to clean. Um, what about those white plastic cutting boards that are so popular? You see them all in the restaurants, right? Well, they are very soft, so they protect your knife edges. However, uh, the kitchens, the, the uh, restaurants, are throwing them in the dishwasher constantly. So you also have to do that at home to sanitize them because the cuts in the soft plastic are excellent at harboring bacteria and, and transferring bacteria from one food to another. All right, so you constantly have to disinfect, spray them down, throw them in the dishwasher, do something to flush that bacteria out and it's, uh, you're still not gonna get all of it because they, they will go deep into those cuts, all right? Uh, so what should you avoid? Hard cutting boards, uh, stone, ceramic, glass. I've seen stainless steel cutting boards, those thin roll-up plastic mats. They're very convenient. Uh, they're color-coded, but they are very damaging to knife edges because they're so hard, because they're thin. They don't want you to cut through them. And think about this, bamboo, very bad. Why is that? Bamboo is very popular right now, right? You see bamboo cutting boards all over the place, very environmental. You don't have to cut down any trees to get it because it's a grass. Think about it, though. Bamboo wants to be round. It's a tube. So to make it a cutting board, you have to cut it into strips. You have to laminate it under extreme heat and pressure and very hard epoxies, glass-like epoxies. Very abrasive, very hard, very damaging to your knife edges. So if you're wondering why your knives are getting so dull so quickly, take a look at your cutting board, get rid of all the hard materials, go to wood or soft plastic as long as you're keeping the plastic sanitized. Um, so for sanitizing the wood, if, you're, if you are not able to, to wash it off constantly, there's a lot of different methods out there for removing stains and odors. My favorite is just straight white vinegar. Uh, very economical very easy, removes odors, the acid kills bacteria. Um, you can decide, you can do some research to, on how you want to do that. All right, uh, follow Provision Knives on Instagram and Facebook and uh, check back here. I will be doing another video on cutting boards on how to maintain and upgrade your cutting board. Very easy solutions, all right? So check back with us in the future.